Today we're going to review the Photo Mono from Encubic and the Wash and Cure also from Encubic. My name is Bashar and this is Stock 3D Printing. Okay, let's see what's inside the box. I'm gonna start with the printer, see what's inside the box. First, this is the manual. This paper can be used for leveling. And this have panel, plus like gloves, power, mask, particular also. Oh, that's nice. This is a really good one. There's the tools and after sales card. More foam. Oh, there's some stuff. Oh, this is one. Yeah. Funnel. This is the bed. So the good is stainless steel. Is there. You can see the fan here and the screen and the power from here. Small, I really like it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, that's what's come with it. One of the things you need to remember when you buy any resin print, they don't come with like uh, the FDM printer with the sample for the like a resin. You need to order your own resin. And I order also a cubic resin. Now, I think that everything maybe you need. I don't know. I don't think so. You need to buy anything else. I think the most thing you need to invest more like gloves you need to have more gloves and more mask i don't think so this is really good you maybe need something really good i like the funnel i need to buy more everything look good the star symbol it let's also unbox your station and the manual the protection that will protect it from light to come out or the opposite to come in and this is the container look cool i think this should be the power yeah is the power okay. I think this is like reflection or something and this oh that's cool now there's like a middle here I think there should be this magnet oh I forgot to see what's here okay I will guess this somehow there this is for cure for the UV light to be circle and after sales card and pen wrench Okay, we plug the power, turn it on, remove the screen for the touch screen and for the main screen up. Okay, now is time for bed leveling. Should be, move the ZX10, should be, before we should be go to that, I will lose those a little bit, because this out, lose them, okay. Will, so, and now once we install bed we should be go to home click home and just leave this when it's like this that's how you're gonna bed leveling that and you should be press a little bit in the here and tied it and a second here tied it they're all tied now and now you hit go back to the menu and you hit the Z zero and you say Jerry confirm is it enter think okay press platform now enter now we level the bed now we need to test the screen see if it's work or not but protection and we start with the first one and let's see you can see the light star now we're gonna install the bed it's really simple I think we look good so far now and we need to fill it with the resin now it's the time to put the resin in the vat here but before that you can see now i'm wearing my gloves make sure you guys wearing the gloves when you use them there you don't need to touch the resin at all it's not something good and maybe also you wearing like eye protection for you because you don't need any resin jump in your eye when you roll that resin now i think let's move it up a little bit I think we're good. Now we need to put the resin. This is the first time and I really be worried. Before we put some resin, I will maybe shake it. Not too much because any liquid maybe. And it's opening. Okay. Oh, the smell is really strong. And that's why you need to wear a mask. Now, beside that the vat have like a level and the heat of the max. I wish that was with different color, but. The printer come with USB here, hopefully something to print. I think we're good to print. Just get up like this here and let's go home. Oh no, 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 no. Go back and now I think print. We have two models to print. That's cool. I think we're good. I think I'm gonna close this guy. Okay, I'm gonna hit this. 
start and let's see what's gonna happen this is my first time hopefully the thing something go wrong something spell and once we are done with the the resin that look cool you can see here light I think we're good let's keep it for a while let's see what's gonna happen after that once I'm done with uh, the print I'm gonna cure it and wash it with the station here and we'll back okay I know it seem we've done I just buy those uh, Elgo filter it's I don't know if they're helping or not, but after that we're gonna remove and still there is resin here. I'm gonna put my filter back. I need to close. Okay, and now after wearing my gloves with this, let's take it down. Oh, that's not gonna be easy. Okay. Okay. Nice. After being removed, I still have resin. Can't see gloves. That's why is it, wearing gloves is very important. Now I'm gonna wash it with the with the, the wash and cure station, and let's go. Okay, now we're gonna prepare the cooling station. Let's open this. Take this, and this should be. Um, this and now we need to have alcohol. The alcohol is 90%. In case in the future I'm gonna use it, still you can use it by like the container. And now we'll uh, take this out. We'll put my models down. After that, you close it immediately and cover it. We'll go watch. No, let's make it five minutes. Let's watch. I think I did a mistake. I should be take it platform, put it here and wash it because this first gonna wash this and the things I already printed just keep moving around. I think with the bed will be better to leave it. Now this this thing spinning down under the container is good clockwise, clockwise on the other side to clean it every minute. Let's do it for five minutes. The first minute will go clockwise and the second minute will be clockwise and keep do that. I really like it. This is not really loud. This is a small sound. And we're almost done. I think after I clean the, the things I printed, I'm gonna put this guy wash it because I'm gonna start the next file. Okay, it's beeping now. <clears throat> Thank you. Now we can remove it. Now I think this already done. Now it's dry. Let's cure it. And we need to use this guy. Okay, I think I don't need to remove the reflection things. This. And watch it cure you can see it's for cure now let's move it to five minutes uh, let's put it six it's beeping now oh okay there's a also there is a sensor I was not placing in the right way okay that's after being dry look at this this is really beautiful clean and dry i'm really not expert but from compare compare with my fd imprint and all this stuff this is look very beautiful like there is there's no string there's nothing this 35 millimeters it's, it's amazing we're going to continue testing let's see what's gonna come out from the next print I'm gonna after finish wash it. I will wash this with the platform to see how much is in it. Okay, that's why it's very important you're wearing your gloves, it's really bad. Okay, let's just be clear. I'm, I'm reviewing my experience. Like I'm reviewing how the resin print to do it. How's the experience? How is hard? How's difficult? All these stuff. I'm not just reviewing printer as a quality and all this stuff because, as I said, this is my first printer and I don't. I can't compare it with others. Once I buy more pr a more printer, I may be gonna start give you the real feedback about exactly if this is gonna be good uh, printer to start or additional printer. That's why I'm just to be clear. Like this is just for review my experience. When it's come for the price, this 
it still considered low budget? I was looking for something small will fit my cube. I'm planning to put a cube, uh, build a cube and put all these resin print to make this mill a little bit. And that's why I chose that size. Plus of that, the photo one, I will talk about it later. But my idea to buy the resin print when the, uh, when I see the quality, when people post them in the Facebook, I was impressed with that kind of quality. Plus of that, I hear a lot of people say they're fast and they're bitter when you try to print some details or stuff. Oh, it's taking me like five I have minutes, I will 10 minutes, and when consider that or compare it with the FDM, the FDM, the minimum printer will take you from 30 from 30 minutes to 45 minutes, and that if you build before any printers before. But when it comes to like the, the resin, I will consider those ready built and it's ready to go. You just take them out from the box and you, you plug one or two things and you're ready to go. And that was something very amazing and it's amazing value for, in general, for resin print. Now, let's see what I print, what we print today uh, for our review. Uh, I, as you remember, we start with the, the cube and the cube really, really turns out very good i know my camera can catch that is out of zoom but there was amazing how the details and all this stuff when it's come to the details and was this was perfect and that was one of the file was come in the usb now as you as you know most of the time i said you know what whatever come in the in the file or the usb already sliced they're not like you don't trust them too much but they have another file and was i was really interested look at that details i was really impressed for all details like look there was there's some numbers here like you can see the number one two three four and, and all these small details was like i was shocked i was impressed now i slice i, I was looking for a tower to paint and the, uh, the lean tower i printed i slice it there was a slicer come with the usb and was simple to use was doesn't take too much and but I, as we mentioned before i did a mistake here i don't put any holes or anything here but <laughs> in general if you looked at those details Details. like I don't believe that like look at that I'm really amazed just for the details it's it's really amazing how resin print can can create those details and after that I was said you know what let me start looking for something with a support I was trying to test the support and we show you how to remove the support also turns out very well and I was lucky the file was already have the support doesn't take to like I don't build any support but turns out it's really good when I did something wrong I think I I put that for or, uh, cure too much and you can see there is some difference with the color but again for the details and all these stuff it's really amazing and it's very beautiful and the last thing i was also i slice it and uh, i don't know if my camera can show you this is the diving guy he's like it's very small and you, you can still see some details and i put some support was not the greater support and when i try to to remove one of the support i cut his hand but in general as a quality and all this stuff it turns out very beautiful and oh look at that details i believe that way impossible with this come with the fdm to do with that super beautiful details okay now what's i like or i don't like when it's come res with the resident print let's start with uh, what i don't like i really don't like the smell the, the, the first day was very hard for me to deal with the smell i start have a small headache but i think because that the first time i smelled the, the resin and was it's not like something you you like or you enjoy to smell that's one of the things bother me and the next day when i start like i think i get used to the smell it was just fine for me and I'm lucky my shop or where I take open I do my print uh, my uh, printings and all these stuff it's in the in the basement is away from my family but you can tell when you come near from my room there is some weird smell but after that I use some of those uh, Elogo filters and turns out they're good and they really good job when it's come to the smell the second thing I was really don't like it's the idea for a cure and what but this is what apart from the resin print like it's really something like you use to the filament uh, and FDM print you just put the, the filament and you're done you get to go you come back you find your stuff after maybe a long time which is the reason way faster but the idea for that is kind of like you have something to do before and you need to do something after that might be a little bit not too much i don't enjoy it in the beginning but after a while when i felt comfortable and i know how to deal with the resin and what i put this and that i was feeling way better and i started like the idea or i enjoy that process as i mentioned before and after now what i like now 
for sure the quality like I'm, I'm really impressed with the quality for all these prints like I wouldn't believe I, I can do something like this with the FDM it's kind of possible when it's come for the details for action figure or anything like this but I know the FDM still still you need FDM when it's come to uh, like to do something like a mechanic tools or stuff like this or something like to fix something in your house still the FDM I think resin resin was still not strong enough to do stuff like this when it's come compared with the BTG or EBS now also it's fast like an average all these stuff take me this take me like I think five or six hours I'm not very this is like and other stuff this guy took like two hours if I'm not uh, missing and other small stuff take an hour and when I print this they printed all like six of them and all these six take like an less than hour to print which is something amazing and that small guy here is took me also an hour and a half uh, with the support and all it was not too much support this is one of the things I really love when it's come to the resin uh, and there's not too much noise compared with the FDM if you're looking for some if you feel like FDM is super nosy or they have a lot of noise the resin like kind of like I would say quiet there's not too much noise to hear about it. The other things was really love it with the counter resident. I'm, I'm, I was shocked when I did it when it was work from first time. Is the leveling the bed. Most of the time when you when you try to to do the FDM and if you're new to 3D printing, it will take time to be good to, to bed leveling. But with the resident, I was I was from first time. I'm I'm good to go. I start print and that's one of the good stuff about resin print. Now in general, in general, my experience it's awesome. I really love it. I really enjoy the idea to have resin print now and print another stuff with the high quality if I have a small project or stuff like this for me I believe if I don't have the washing your station maybe I will not feel more <laughs> enjoyable when I do the process but I believe if you want to start use a resin print and you want to switch from FDM or you try add it more I will really really recommend it by both of them now again I'm not saying Incupic was the good again do your research go look around for your budget and buy whatever there's a lot another company producing use those uh, wash and cure station and resin print uh, that's why do your research look for whatever the budget will fit your your need and buy but my big recommended it's really you need to buy the wash and cure station and please get a resin print it's very funny okay guys thank you a lot for watching my video my review was today a little bit big uh, long but I cover a lot of stuff and we go through the whole process please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like my video please hit the like button and See you in the next video. Bye.